Hello everyone, my name is Dan Flynn and I am a third party seller on Amazon. Uh, I primarily sell FBA, which stands for Fulfilled by Amazon. And um, I started that about five years ago. And this actually, this month, uh, marks my five year anniversary of selling on Amazon. I started real small, like most people do, and gradually increased in, in my volume and, and what I sell. Uh, five years ago, I started selling by just going to random stores and using the Amazon app and, and scanning uh, different clearances and just going through the aisles and, and looking at things and, and uh, using the Amazon app to see what would make a profit. Um, I would put the first four years of Amazon, I would say that I worked about an average of 10 hours a week. You know, there'd be weeks where I would go and I didn't do anything with Amazon. And then I'd put 15, 20 hours in in one week and then I'd be off for another two or three weeks. And, and that worked pretty good. Um, I was able to consistently make between five and $10,000, you know, for four years. And I was happy with that. I was real happy with that. That was, you know, it was vacation money. It was Disney money. And, um, and I enjoyed it. I still do. I still enjoy it. Um, around March of last year, um, I started getting some indications that it was time to leave my job. And my job was a middle school science teacher. Um, I was a middle school science teacher for 27 years. Loved it. Loved it for 22 of the 27 years. Loved it. The last four or five years, didn't love it so much. Just got tough. You know, COVID was tough. But even before COVID, cell phones made it really tough. You know, trying to teach middle school kids with their cell phones and competing with that, uh, it, was, it was tough. It was difficult. So uh, the writing was on the wall. Um, I had this part-time thing going with Amazon. Uh, last March, I decided to turn up the volume a little bit and, and go and source more, buy more stuff, sell more stuff. Simple formula. The more you buy, the more you sell. Um, so in March, I started putting more time into sourcing. So turned into about a 20, 30-hour week I, w I would put into it. Still just doing FBA. Now, for those of you that don't know, um, with selling on Amazon, you've got what's known as FBA and then FBM. FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. FBM is fulfillment by merchant. FBA, if you're tight on time, is, is the easiest way to go. Um, they charge you more. It's about 30% is what you get charged um, of the total cost of the item. 30% is going to Amazon. And what ha the way that you work that is you go to the stores you collect various items that you buy for that you can buy for a profit and Amazon has a really good app that, to help you do that and there's some other resources that you can use um, and as you collect these items and, and, and build up a decent supply once you've got a decent amount because you just don't want to send two or three things in uh, I would send at least a hundred um, I didn't like going over 200 because I didn't have the space for that. So between 100 and 200 items, I'd send in Amazon. And there's a whole process of doing it. It's not difficult, though. It's really not. There's a lot of tutorials out there. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll probably make some at some point. But, um, and then once you ship it out, once you ship it to the Amazon warehouse, you're done. You know, your part, your role in that merchandise is over. You know, Amazon takes over from there. And again, it's, they charge for it. But for me, it was worth it. It was worth it. Um, and when an, uh, those items then go to Amazon Warehouse, uh, when it sells, they pack it up, they ship it, they collect the fees. If there's a return, they take in the return. If it's in good saleable condition, they put it back on the shelves, they relist it. You know, they, they take care of all that for that 30%. Um, and then you have FBM. FBM is fulfillment by merchant. Um, if you're familiar with how eBay works, it's kind of like that. You know, um, Amazon, you, you list the items that you have for sale on Amazon's website, on their portal, and they charge you about 15% for doing that. But then you're in charge of everything else. When a customer purchases an item from you, you have to ship it to that customer. Um, if they return it, you're responsible for taking care of those return claims and, and any, any communication with the customer you're responsible for. Um, so Amazon does less. And they charge you less. They only charge you about 15% on average. Um, so um, if it's a fast-selling item, send it in to Amazon. That, that, that's the way I do it. If it's a fast-selling item, if it's got a good rank, just send it in Amazon. Let them worry about it. 
if it's a slow moving item, I'll do FBA or FBM. Um, I'll ship it in myself because it might be sitting on my shelves for months. I mean, I've got stuff behind me um, that may have been there for six months. Um, the profit is good. The uh, It's a lightweight, so the shipping's not that much. It just doesn't sell that well. And so I'm, I'm willing to wait. I have some space so I can do that. Not everybody has that, and I get that. You know, and if you don't have a lot of space, then, then FBA is the way you want to go. Um, I've seen a lot of videos is, you know, is, is, is FBA, is it, is it still a profitable mode of, of business? You know, can people still make money in it? I say yes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm watching videos all the time of people going to a lot of different stores doing exactly what I'm doing and they're killing it. They're making great money. Um, now again, I'm, I'm not trying to become a millionaire doing this. Um, I just enjoy doing it. You know, the money is important, sure, but I enjoy doing it. I, I enjoy the, the hunt, you know, going to the various stores and trying to find items that, that make a profit. I enjoy that. I really do. Um, I used to source at a lot of different stores. I used to go to Target and Walmart and Rite Aid and Walgreens and Boscobs and Lowe's, Home Depot. Home Depot used to do really well um, in Home Depot. Uh, Dick's Sporting Goods and selling Nike. Um, but about a year and a half ago, I started going to uh, a store that's mainly on the East Coast called Ollie's. It's the only store I go to. I, I love Ollie's. Um, I'll go into Walmart every now and then. I don't like Walmart. I, I, I just don't like sourcing Walmart. It's, it's a headache. It's a headache. And... Nine times out of ten, if I find a good deal in a Walmart, it's in the other 10,000 Walmarts that are out there. So the price will tank and, and, and the, 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 the number of sellers greatly grow, goes up. So um, I know there's a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of people that do great with Walmart. Um, Richie Hustles, he, he's got a YouTube channel. He does great and uh, enjoyable uh, guy to watch. He does, he does a great job. Uh, Nikki Kirk, she does a great job. I've learned a lot from Nikki. So Nikki, she, she's got some great videos out there. And they both do a great job with Walmart and, and Target. Those stores are just too crowded for me. Um, I, I, I like going into my Ollie's and just I know the stores. The stores are laid out fairly similar. Um, they get a lot of the same things. So I'll, I'll go in knowing what five things I'm looking for. And they get new trucks every week. Um, so, you know, I've got a couple of Ollies that are close to me, so I'll go to those Ollies. And if I got good deals in those Ollies, then I'll go out to other Ollies that are a little bit further away. In fact, tomorrow, that's what I'll be doing. Tomorrow, I'm getting up early and I'm, and I'm doing a run tomorrow. I'll be going to five different Ollies tomorrow. Um, and I've got some things in mind that I'm looking for, you know, based on what I saw over the weekend, over the last weekend. And, uh... Sometimes you strike out. Most of the time I don't, though. Um, most of the time I, I, I come home with a, a full vehicle. And uh, it's fun. It's fun. I enjoy it. So um, this is my first video on my channel. So I, I hope you like it. Um, in, in future videos, I'll be posting um, some of my walkthroughs. I mean, I'll, I'll, I will videotape. I'll, I'll, I'll record some of my, uh, my walkthrough tomorrow at Ollie's and any of the finds that I get. And I'll, I'll make a video about that. Um, I'll, uh, post on how I do my, my prep work and how I do FBA versus how I do FBM. Um, it's pretty much just me. Um, my family helps, uh, my wife and my two sons, they, they help when it, it when, when I come back from a sourcing day and my truck is full, they come out and they help me unload the truck. Um, when I get my, my, uh, I, I'm in the basement. So when I'm, I'm done packaging up my FBA or FBM packages, um, my sons will help me take them upstairs and put them in the truck. Uh, so they do help. I also have another uh, teacher that uh, recently retired, and, and she helps me uh, two days out of every two weeks, you know, six hours to, to do an FB, FBA shipment. Um, but I, I tell you, I just I love it. I love doing it. Um, being, in my, being in the basement, working on the stuff, being in my own world, listening to podcasts and YouTubes and audiobooks. Filling my head with good stuff. It's great. I love it. 
So I will be making more videos uh, showing you how I do what I do. Um, I, I hope that this is something you'd be interested in. If so, please subscribe, hit the like button, be greatly appreciated, and uh, have a great day. See ya.